Even though a lot of us work with clay, we do things that are so different from each other. Some sculpt, some use the wheel. As for Maureen Miller... I like to uh, move around. She's been moving around this artist co-op for the last 13 years. Miller is one of 25 artists sharing the space on Clifton, making what is often solitary work part of something bigger. It's really good for inspiration and for uh, you know that uh, creative push that you sometimes need and uh, good camaraderie. Since its early 1900 beginnings, this space has been creating. At one time it used to be manufacture buggy whips. Sherilyn Saramagamartai is the new president of the co-op that once catered to buggies, Model T Fords, and since 1986, collective art. For Saramagamartai, it's a way of bringing her art into the home. It's functional art. You can have something both, you know, beautiful and utilitarian at the same time. You know, a, a pitcher when you're not using it to pour milk can sit on your mantle and look, you know, lovely in your living room. But whether the work is functional or thought-provoking, what really matters is that it's taking form. I can never afford to have a studio myself, but because there's a whole bunch of us in this great big building, we can, you know, pool our resources. The co-op makes economic sense for a lot of artists, but it's more than that. Miller spent time away from the studio over the summer, and she's relieved to be back. It was like I'd found a piece of myself that was lost, <laughs> you know, and it just really felt so good to be back in the studio, to be coming home and being able to uh, exercise my, the creative part of my spirit. There's always a collection of artists' work here in the gallery section of Clifton Studios, and twice a year it opens its doors to the public. If you need more information, you can always head to cliftonstudios.ca. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Kim Kasher.